If you've watched me for any length of time, you probably know that I love growing tomatoes. In fact, that's probably how you found me, from this video right here. Now one of the most popular parts of that video was my trellising system, and you see it right back here. Now I've heard from a lot of you who went out after that video and built yourself that same trellis system and have had amazing results. So in this video, I'm going to be going over my trellising system in detail because I think it's the best way that you can possibly grow tomatoes in the whole world. So don't go anywhere. Welcome back to our second Tomato Tuesday. And if you're looking to join a garden community that offers tips, tricks, and support to grow your best garden ever, then start now by clicking subscribe, ringing the bell so you get notified every time we upload a video, which right now is three times a week, Sunday, Tuesday, Friday. Let's get growing. Now in that very popular tomato video from last May, uh, one of the most commented on things was my trellising system. I've been using that system for over six years and it is the perfect way to grow tomatoes. I never thought that I would change it, but, and I know that those of you who already went out and bought this, you know, built this because of me are now thinking he's changing things up and you're about ready to throw something at the screen, but hold on. Not exactly. I'm just making one tiny little addition that's going to increase the amount of tomatoes I can grow in the time I have to grow them and in the small space that I have to grow them. You know, last year I already grew 500 tomatoes, over 500 tomatoes, in a space that was 4 feet by 10 feet by using this method. This is going to help me increase that even further. The reason is, is because I could have had a lot more tomatoes last year. But there was one downfall to this perfect trellising system, and that is that it's too short. At eight feet tall, by July, my tomato plants had reached the top. Now in shorter growing seasons and cooler climates, at that point you would just top off the, uh, the plants and let the fruit below ripen. But if you're in a mild winter climate, or growing in a greenhouse, I can be harvesting tomatoes off of there in November and even December. But once the plants reached the top of that trellis, they started to flop over, break off, and just become unruly. Now I tried to lower them down a little bit and, and kind of weed them through so they could have a little more support at the top. Ended up breaking most of the, the branches and losing the plant. So late last season, I came across a really simple solution to that problem, and it's the way that commercial tomato growers do it. But before I get into that little change, I'm going to go over the basics, because in case you were one of the three people that didn't see that video, or don't want to go searching through the whole 25 minute video again to find one small part, the basics haven't changed. So let's just hit those in the next few seconds. So the structure is anchored at the bottom. Now, if you are growing in the ground, you can bury these posts, you know, a foot and a half to two feet in the ground. That'll be fine. I'm growing in raised beds. So I screwed the supports into the raised bed. I just used two by three lumber, one on each end and one going across the top. Uh, screwed them together with some outdoor screws and then across the top I used furring strips. They're about 18 inches and I just screwed those 12 to 18 inches apart going down the length of that top uh, piece. The plants are planted beneath the structure about 12 to 18 inches apart basically under the two ends of the furring strips at the top. At the base of each plant you're going to insert a landscape staple or a bent piece of wire and attach a string to it. You're going to give the string a couple winds around the, the little uh, stem of the small tomato plant and then run that string up to the top of the trellis and tie it on. As the tomatoes grow, you can wind them around or clip them onto the strings. We pinch off the side growth, which like I said, I will get into on a future video. 
and the plant grows up the strings until it reaches the top of the trellis. So once the plants hit the top of the trellis, you could cut the tops of the plants off right there and let the fruit below ripen. But what if you don't want to end there? That's where these come in. Now I'm going to explain how these work in just a second, but I want to warn you, don't run out and just buy any of these because I did that last year and they were not cheap to buy, but they were actually cheap and flimsy once I got them and it couldn't even hold up the weight of the tomato plant without bending. Late last year, the end of summer, I had a company contact me. It was my first like company contacting me as a YouTuber and they saw my tomato video and they wanted to offer uh, some products for me to try, which of course I said, yes, always looking for new cool things you can use. Now this company actually didn't manufacture for home gardeners. They manufactured for commercial growers, but they're actually looking to get into the home garden uh, arena and they are looking for me and you to be part of the start of that, which is pretty cool. So like I said, they sent me a bunch of their products. This was actually one of them. And I was really, really impressed, especially after the issue I already talked about. The problem is they don't start manufacturing for home gardeners or shipping to home gardeners until next month, May. So right here, I need to ask for your help because I want them to be able to give you guys a discount when you order these. And so here's what I need from you. I need for you to simply, takes two seconds, click the like button and I need you to comment down below. That's it, I'll take it from there. That's gonna show them there's a lot of interest from our viewers. So like I said, just do that little thing, I'll take care of the rest and I will keep you updated. Now that's not gonna slow us down. If we can't get these until May, that's totally fine. I'm still gonna go ahead, plant my tomatoes. We're gonna do another video on that. Um, and by the time the plants are the size that they need to be to, uh, to add these, it'll be perfect timing. So let me explain how these work. We're still going to tie the string onto the landscape staple down at the bottom. We're still gonna loop it around the tomato stem a couple of times and run the string up to the little cross pieces on the trellis. But instead of tying them to the trellis, we're gonna put in a little hook. You can get these at any hardware store or online. And the spool is going to hang on that hook. Then once the plants reach the top, it's time to make some magic happen. At that point, you're gonna remove the spool, unwind it a couple of rotations, and move it to the next trellis support. And then that one would go to the next one, that one will go to the next one, all the way around until you get to the last one. So basically, each one of these would have a hook, and each one would take the next one's place all the way around. So when I get to the end, it goes to the front, and then back this way, and then the very last one moves over to the spot that the first one was removed from. So basically, you're gonna have your plants circling. So let's say at the end of the season, you've got a 25 foot plant that's gonna go around in a circle, winding its way around this bed, always though being eight feet tall. So you're gonna have maybe a 25 foot plant by in some climates, November, December, that has produced hundreds of tomatoes throughout the season. That's pretty exciting. If you're as excited as I am about that, definitely a thumbs up and comment. And of course, you're already subscribed. So once again, the company that I'm working with right now, um, hopefully will be ready to ship next month. Like I said, that's not gonna hold us back. We're gonna go ahead and plant. We're gonna put the landscape staple in and be ready. So when the plants are the right size, We'll be able to get these and hook them up together on a future Tomato Tuesday. I uh, hope you're all staying well, staying home, and I will see you on Friday. And if this is your first time here and you're looking to join a garden community that offers trips, trips, we all want all the trips, 